Hey guys, this is our last week of our Rhythms mini-series. Last week, we talked about what it means to die in potential and how potential is great. But if it's not met with action uh, behind what God is telling us and instructing us to do, it's all it is is this potential. And we're dying in the thoughts of like, man, this should have happened. Like, what if I trusted in this? And years go by, months go by, where we're running around trying to figure out what we can do to find fulfillment in our lives and not allowing God to give us that satisfaction and, uh, you know, being the ruler and the provider over our lives. And that, I believe that uh, gives us more freedom. And today, we're, we're, we're in the promised land, right? So you had the potential and you carried it out and we're in the promised land. But it's important to remember where you came from. Remember the successes, the victories that God had, had has given you. The grace that he has given you. Uh, when we fell, that, when we ha- have fallen so far from his mercies that he's continually entrusting us with more. That he's continually pulling us out of the messes that we created ourselves for our lives. In in the book of Judges, um, chapter chapter two, verse six, it says that Joshua passed away. Joshua, this great uh, man, right? This great warrior, him along with Caleb, uh, and Joshua being one of the spies that scattered out the land, and then eventually. Him and Caleb were being leaders amongst the Israelites, and they were man, they were fighting, fighting. They was just taking everybody out, like who was in front of them, even their own brothers. Because one one of the guys uh, in the book of Joshua, he he took something that he like he took like he took something from like the the land that they was conquering, right? And he didn't tell anybody. All this happened, and they cast lots. And if uh, like and God, he he instructed Joshua like, hey, you're not w- winning because something happened, like somebody messed up. And with that, the 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 man and his whole family were stoned. They all died. And um, after that, they were able to have victories again because that um that flaw, that mistake was taken out, right? And now we find ourselves. In chapter 10 of Judges uh, 2. Where the children of Israel. They forgot. They forgot. This generation. After everything that happened. They forgot again. What God has, has done for them. And starting at verse 10. And going to verse 15. It says. After that whole generation. Had been gathered to their ancestors. Another generation grew up. Who knew neither the Lord nor what he had done for Israel. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baals. They forsook the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of Egypt. They followed and worshipped various gods of the people around them. They aroused the Lord's anger because they forsook him and served Baal in the Asherahs. In his anger against Israel, the Lord gave them into the hands of raiders who plundered them. He sold them into the hands of their enemies all around, whom they were no longer able to resist. Whenever Israel went out to fight, the hand of the Lord was against them to defeat them, just as he had sworn to them. They were in great distress and with God of course he wants the best for us right but this new generation they I I I imagine they were becoming like the generation that they were conquering and it's not like they were just going out there like this like fighting everybody just killing everybody no like these people they did they were doing some crazy 
some crazy things, sacrificing babies, like these other pagan nations, like they was, sac they was doing a lot of things, uh, and that was evil in the Lord's sight, because it was just like, violent, like it was so many things, right, and I imagine that even for myself, that when I'm becoming great distress, it's like, man, I need you, God. Like, I keep on calling back. I, I need you. I need you this time. I need you this time. I'm going to stop doing this, right? I'm going to read my Bible every day. And then day 10, day 20 comes, and it's like, hey, I'm back to my, you know, the ways, the I guess the wicked ways that I shouldn't be doing, right? And God is like, man, hey, I brought you from this. Like, do, do, you don't remember this? What? Like, you don't remember this? And if... He does not allow us to, um, I, 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 for myself, the trials that I went to through, a lot of it is made me closer to, to God. Cause it's like, each one is like, man, I'm crying out more to God. And it's like, hey, now it's like, hey, you're my best friend. Like, man, we'll be joking in the car and everything. And yes, the past at times can be hurtful. But I can write, I, I remember so much, even the past, especially the past, like, 10, 12 years, I can just write down, it's like, man, God, you were here in this moment, you were here in this moment, and because you were here, you showed up in ways that I couldn't, like, imagine my future is like, hey, I'm gonna, you know, go harder for what you are calling me to do, like, I see myself as a leader because you put in my toolbox all these things like all the things that I thought were you know pushing me away from you you allowed it <laughs> to strengthen me and to uh, uh, allow myself to become a leader and now I'm pouring back right and that's the case for the Israelites yes they kept on making mistakes but they like, every time they cried out to God God was there and they were supposed to remember the different things that he brought him, them through, the victories and the failures. And of course, they didn't get it right all the time, but God was, he was there. Like, he, he's faithful. He was there, right? So today, as you're in the promised land, remember, don't be like this generation. Don't be like this lost generation of Israelites, right? At times, we, we might be in those situations, but when you find yourself there, be like David. You know, be like Abraham and seek out God. Like, for Abraham, when it was with Lot, he kept on talking to God, like, hey, but what if 10 believe? Like, what if 2? Like, what if, like, 15 believe? And God was, like, he's He's slow to anger, right? He's slow to anger, so keep on talking to him. He wants that, like when, like when you keep on talking to him, you understand more of the mind, the limited mindset that we know of God. You understand more of him, and he's like willing to show us more of his glory, more of his mercy, because he's like, hey, my son and daughter, they want a relationship with me. So remember. Remember where you came from, uh, and so you can have a better judgment, a better discernment of where God is taking you and leading you. And it might be leadership, it might be, might be you forgiving somebody that harm, harmed you, that hurt you from the past. And that's important as well, uh, especially with our, with our mindsets, our mental, and uh, loving ourselves. And hey... That that's true too. God will help you uh, ha have a better relationship with yourself and how you see yourself, not how the world sees you, but how you see you and how God sees who you are and what you can become. As always, I love y'all. Peace, and I'll see you next Friday, seven o'clock. A new mini series. Let's get it.